What is happening everybody? My name's Seven and welcome back to a brand new Ghost Recon video. Today we're going to be going and collecting the final set of weapons that exist within the Fallen Ghost DLC. So that means we are in the Eastern Precinct, which is the precinct that you actually start in. Now I've already covered the Northern and the Western, so if you want to go and see where those weapons actually exist, go watch those videos and you will easily find them. Now the first weapon we're going to go collect today is just very, very near to where we are. It is the SR635 Apparition. Now it's a submachine gun and it is also uh, very very good in the sense of it's been silenced and, and it's awesome. So you want to head over to the, the San Miguel Ruins which is just over here, the remains of a colonial site. And what you want to do is actually head over to where we are at this exact spawn location which means uh, Alpha which is just down here on the right hand side of this precinct. Collect it just like I am about to and we'll put, put it on and I'll show you what it's like so you can decide whether you actually want it and then we'll move on to the next weapon so look at that yeah man i love it that's the one with the beads all over it. the skulls looks really really cool uh, it's quite hard at range i would say over 100 meters i wouldn't say this is a very good weapon it doesn't seem very practical over 100 meters but getting a little bit closer we're at 100 meters we're at 90 meters now so we've got another guy here 70 meters away so yeah i would say 60 60 to 70 meters something like that this is going to be quite effective so it's quite a close range science weapon so for infiltration of bases this will be handy and obviously close range it absolutely wrecks let's move on to the second weapon okay so the second weapon within the eastern precinct is literally in the middle mass of this area slightly a little bit higher up to the top and we're going to be going to the, the makeshift hospital and what we're going to collect is the hti muddy bones which is basically the hti sniper rifle that we used in the main game just with a different camo so we'll head over we'll grab this and obviously i'll show you what it looks like as well but everyone should know what it functions like it is literally exactly the same as the original uh, hdr that we utilize in the game itself so we'll collect this and then i'll show you the weapon so we've got this and let's go on the loadout and let's have a look we'll switch it for the bfg i'd advise you probably using the bfg which was my second episode if you haven't got that sniper i definitely say go and find that because that is a beautiful weapon indeed it's a HDI Muddy Bones. So this is the sniper rifle that we currently have on right now. And it shares pretty much the same statistics as the, the BFG. It's still a very, very powerful sniper rifle. Oh yeah, it sounds exactly the same. Hey, he just took a shot, single shot. What the hell? Normally this like blows up a car like straight away. Hang on a second. I've, I've literally just shot this Unidad soldier. And he's dead. But he's standing spinning in a circle. Okay, bro. Look, seriously, he's dead. Now, while playing through the first missions within the Fallen Ghost DLC, you will arrive at this hut right here, which is a point where you have to come into, and the weapon, which is known as the Fobo Crossbow, will be inside of here. So you'll be able to come into this location and pick this up just by following the storyline itself. As you can see on the map, it is in the top corner of the Eastern Precinct, and it's literally just inside of this hut, lying on the bench, right next to the what looks like a torture chair right there. So if you pick that up, obviously you'll be able to then have the first crossbow you come across within the actual game itself and this is a really beastly weapon within like with no doubt and with skills as well when you upgrade this you can get like explosive bows um which is absolutely insane this is a really really cool weapon i did a full gameplay on this actual weapon itself so if you want to go check that out please go and do that let's move on to the final weapon now the next weapon is down the bottom left hand corner of the eastern precinct at an outpost now this outpost is pretty much surrounded by water it's literally guarded mostly off and the best way to get in is to get into the shed you can swim around here around the side and come all the way around and then climb up this side here and just go inside of this building and sneakily grab it or you can if you want to just go in like i'm about to go crazy land and go inside of the building now this is i think where one of the submarines are actually stored so if we just come down and land somewhere around here we'll be able to grab the weapon from just inside this building down this bottom end here as you can see you got the entrance you come in and this is where one of the submarines uh, that we had to destroy in the game uh, actually is stored as well so we just grab it here and it's in the corner and i'll show you what the weapon is like beautiful looking weapon love the camo on this and of course uh, nice already got a naturally attached red dot as well so that's very very cool indeed we obviously can't affect that because it's literally just a uh, an actual already designed weapon so we'll have to live with what we actually have let's go and see if we can kill an enemy with this 40 meters away let's give it a shot absolutely destroyed him wow this is this feels very much like the uh the tar actually 
There's a guy there. He's 60 meters away. Destroyed him. The recoil pattern's pretty similar. I would say this is quite similar to the tar. In a, in a sense of just how it feels. It feels exactly like the tar. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each of the locations for all of the weapons. So, where we are right now is at minus 17.8818 and a longitude of minus 60.4389. And that will get you the PDR. To get yourself the HDI, you want to come to the latitude of minus 16.8. 166 and a longitude of minus 59.8846 to get yourself the apparition you want to be coming to the san miguel ruins which are at minus 17.1435 and at a longitude of minus 59.3558 i hope this short series of three episodes have helped you guys all discover every single weapon within the dlc in fallen ghosts if it has please let me know in the comment section below and i'm glad that i could help my name is b7 also known as martin would like and comment and all that you love. Take care of yourselves. Peace.